Welcome back guys, today Splinter's come to visit me and he's got this beautiful ship to show me, the Donager. Uh, and like I say, the Donager is, by the looks of it, bigger than the last ship he came to show. I think, it's definitely a different shape. It's got big old turrets on it, so I can't wait to test those out. It looks like he's got missiles and uh, AMCs as well in the main body of the ship. It's pretty much a wedge, or an arrowhead design with uh, the three three turrets on top. They're pretty big. It's interesting that turrets spawning with... Oh, they're gone. Yeah, turrets spawning with beacons. Anyway, strange lights seen in space. There they're back. Mm, interesting. There's his engines. So, we're going to ask him about the interior. The donut of the Donager. Looks like he's got the door open waiting for me. So let's go in and check it out. So, we've got a minimalist interior here from Splinter. Uh, as you can see, you've got exposed weapon racks, so I guess the engineers can get in and fix them, which is cool. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at the uh, information here. What have we got? So, this particular vessel is 6,322 mass, uh, 175 long, 24 high, 89 wide. The uh, power is 847,334. The uh, recharge on the energy is 244,710. Um, We've got a thrust of 2,262. The, the x-axis turn speed is 1.1. Y-axis is 1.2. Z-axis is 1. Shields, you've got 422,866 with an 8,830 shields per second recharge. So we've got some interesting turrets here. Recovery 3 on the shields. Okay. Checking out the weapons computer, it's got SDKBs, one, lots of them. Uh, weapons computer has three groups, 533 with a long range, 533, 1000 range, 533, 1000, 533, 1000 range. Right, so they're all 1000 range, so let's just quickly mount one of these and check it out. Get a better look at that. Nice. They're very nice. So are these SDKKB. I think they're the Dunfire ones. Yeah, they are. Oh, look at that. Oh no, they're heat seekers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, did you fit heat seekers to your ship? Did you, mate? Oh no. Oh. Lol. So anyway, we've proven the effectiveness of his rockets, <laughs> having killed one spectator and taken out my stealth ship. But I pulled the trigger, so I only have myself to blame. I was following orders. It's no excuse. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the ballistics test. Okay. Okay, so he's going to do the one-click test against the defensive gel. Uh, defensive uh, ballistics test. We've gone through the first layer. This is simulating corridors and rooms with layers of armor in between. So, yeah. And it's copied from an actual ship that uh, built by the designer of this test. So yeah, the pattern that we can see here is quite interesting. So, yes. Okay, so let's get the ballistics gel in. 
Okay, so we've got one click. And one click, he's gotten about five. So he's got five from one click. I'm gonna ask him to do one second next. So, one second, please. Excellent. He's got about 13. 13 for one second. Slightly wider pattern. So, as he's shooting to the core, we're gonna take a look at the ship a little bit. As he's shooting. You can see the projectiles are coming out of there. That's his two AM, uh, four AMC banks, two on each side. And as he's drilling through, let's see what his progress is so far. Looks like he's running into a little bit of difficulty. Okay, that's 30 seconds. So we've managed to get quite an interesting pattern out of that sustained fire there. It looks like this is doing a lot more damage around the short sort of you know, short short penetration, short depth. Uh, the, the deeper it was getting, it wasn't really working out in you know in terms of digging his way through the hole there. So let's move on to the bobby tests. So it's round one. We're going to be going up against the migraine trigger version three. So let's activate that AI, get cloaked. So it's start underscore ship underscore AI minus one. Oh, he's going for the core. Oh, he nearly took it out. He nearly took it out. No, come on. Is he down? No, he's still up. He's doing good, he's doing good. That thing's not shooting anymore. I think he might have won. Oh no. Just decided it wasn't going to shoot. This bloke's shields are holding, he's doing good. doing well the Donager is strong so far so good he's getting he's given out the punishment and he hasn't taken much has he oh we've got the shields are down yeah it's down uh, oh no it's not down it's still alive uh. See if we can get a look at the damage to his left flank there. Oh boy. Yep, he's won. He must have won. Yeah. So, taking a look at the damage, there's uh, quite a few rocket hits here, and uh, we're seeing some really big holes there too, so good shooting with those missiles. And uh, checking out the rest, looks like he's had the front scooped through to the core, so yeah, he just sort of wore through at him really. Uh, there's quite a few giant chunks missing, but the biggest one is straight through the middle, through the weapon systems into the core. 
So just taking a look at this ship just to see what the damage report is after round one. We've got extensive hull damage I say to the nose there. Some missiles are missing here. Oh boy, what's going on? Stupid missiles, go away. Anyway, so the heat seekers still get me. <laughs> so yeah, he's got some damage to that, to that weapon system. All of his turrets are still intact. Oh, I know what it was, there's another clenched ship near me. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, the Donager did well for its first round. It's uh, I'd say, uh, oh, maybe I was being shot at. <laughs> anyway. Let's get on to the Migraine Trigger Mark 8, round 2. Okay, so here it is, stage 2, Migraine Trigger version 8, versus Splinter. And he's got extensive damage to the front section. Oh, oh dear! It's over. Well, is it over? Yeah, it's over. <laughs> uh, okay. Stop. Ship. AI. <laughs> let's warp him back here, shall we? Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, damage report for this ship after round two. It has been knocked out now, so we're going to have to let the builder go back and improve it. But yeah, uh, the front section is uh, is missing, and uh, the missile systems have taken, I would call that heavy damage. <laughs> um, obviously after the front section was gone, the fire just sort of continued on straight back and took the core. Um, looking around, there's notable damage all around really where it's ripped straight straight through the back. I think that actually a core a shot that missed the core ripped through the ship and took this turret off. Uh, the turret as well took quite heavy damage being being gutted for the most part on the inside. Um, and let's see the back end is pretty much okay. Untouched you could say. There's grazing all along there, but yeah, the most of it, the most impressive was that massive chunk. I could just see it suddenly hit him with a shower, and he was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, good, good fight. Nice, nice, nice uh, design you've got there, buddy. I'm just going to go and check out the uh, V8, see if you did manage to touch it. Let's see. Go check the other side. It's untouched, isn't it? Yep. Yep, good as new. Right. So that was the Donager. Thanks ever so much, Splinter, for coming to show me your ship. And uh, please come and bring me your next one and we can do all this again. I'd love to see you get past the Mark, the Mark 8. So uh, to everyone else who's watching this, See you again next time.